Hey, how's it going? That decision about happiness, how's that working out? Of course, you're going to get a blowback, it's called, well, from any decision that you make. Any. I want you to recognize that any decision that you make, any decision, you make a decision to go left instead of right, you're going to get blowback. That's what life is. You got to move something in order for you to move. Something got to move out of your way. The, the space that you walk through is full of, it's full. So as you walk in, it's almost like you, we're walking through thin water. And there are sentient beings in that thin water. They're f swimming around more or less in that thin water that we walk through. That's why we almost so much water. So, because we're walking through water, we just absorb in the water. I mean, hey. So you made a decision to be happy. Did you make a decision to speak the truth all the time? Because they're going to try you on that too. Make a decision to speak truth all the time. Be tried. Stick to your decision. Anything you decide to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. As soon as you die, something's going to come up, as they call it, a blowback. It's going to try to stop you. It's going to test you. That's all it is to see. It's actually the universe, what you call it, the universe, testing your decision to see if it's really, it's really for you to see so you can see your own resolve your own commitment to your decision it's really for you it ain't like some outside of you is messing with you actually is helping you to stick to your decisions i don't care what that is i'm sticking to my decision see that's when you're committed that's called commitment and the, the, the in order to get something done, you got to be committed to the to the decision to get it done. Whatever it is, be committed to making pancakes. Be committed to drinking a glass of water. Be committed. Yeah, be committed to whatever it is you're saying you're doing, whatever decision you make. Stick with it till it no longer makes sense. I ain't saying just stick with it forever <laughs> till it no longer makes sense. Now, being happy and speaking the truth just makes sense. I don't know when they're going to stop making it, making sense. But I didn't come in here for that. I came in, I just, you know, like to check up and see if y'all, anybody's doing, you know. <laughs> you can be happy right away. All you have to do is decide. So let's go into this thing about rights. Because I hear people, no matter, I ain't got no rights. They taking away our rights and all that. Nobody can take your rights from you. Rights understand me or god given check what i'm saying go study what i'm saying I ain't, I, people say research i ain't gonna say research nothing because you ain't uh, research means you're looking at somebody else's search like you'll go into a, a google and say what what is this and where does this come from and somebody will tell you and you say oh that's where it come from why because somebody told you that's research you go get a book, read the book. Oh, oh yeah, and then in, in the book, you guess what? That's somebody telling you something. And then you'll be like, this is what happened 3,000 years ago. Hey, why? Because it was in the book. <laughs> it's still somebody telling you, dude, that ain't, that's, you researching, meaning doing something somebody else did already. And then they let you know. That's why they researching all these ancient tombs and all that, they trying to find something that we already know, that we already do, that we already said or something, so they can go and try to stir it up in the pot, that guy, Sigmund Freud, and uh, his his partner, forget, John, Carl, Gustav Young, they both studied Egyptian paraphy, uh stuff from the, the that, that racking, uh, sacking, they called it. Sacking of it, 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 Alexandria. Alexandria was like a big library for the world. It wasn't just for no Egyptians or just for Africans. It was people all over the world. Chinese, everybody was there, man. They stole all of that stuff. Indians, everybody was bringing their stuff. It was a compilation of cultures coming there. Was, I don't know. Anyway, the, Freud, them stole that stuff. And, and, and all the rest of the stuff they use, they, you know, y'all researching like they researching. You're using their methods. You're going to get what they get. It's a done deal. Use your own methods and study. Don't research. Study. Study the doggone moon cycles. 
Don't go look at no uh, astrology chart. Look at the moon. What? <laughs> look at the moon. Look at the stars themselves. You're studying all this and about this and that and that, but about it being about a bung, and the thing is right up there. You can look at it yourself and study it, but you're researching. Rights are given by the Creator. You come here with inalienable, which means no one can take it, rights. You're abdicating your rights by allowing yourself to be bullied into thinking someone can take your rights. That's impossible. No one can take your rights. They're inalienable. You come here from the Creator with rights. When you're born, you have rights. When you're born, you have all this stuff you need. Even before, it's already the setup. By the time you're born, it's like, yay. But we're coming in on a different cut. In a society that don't teach us that. It teaches us that we're not perfect. Uh, the so-called God messed up and, and got people all this kind of way and that kind of way. And, you know, we kill each other, killing each other. That's right because, you know, and, and the whole thing is a setup. None of it's real. No one can take your rights. You ain't got to beg for no rights. You ain't got to march for no rights. You ain't got to do none of that for no rights. However, <laughs> with rights comes responsibility. Now, if you don't want to be responsible for your neighborhood and your children and your education of your children and the feeding of your family, if you don't want to be responsible for that, then abdicate your rights. Give them away. Give them away to anybody who will take care of your children and do all your responsibilities because you don't want to be responsible. You say you have no rights. And you do. You're just lying. That's why I say always speak the truth. When you always speak the truth, you cannot say, you will not say that you have no rights. It can't. It won't come out of your mouth. Nature already has rights and gave them and bestowed them upon you when you were born. No one can take your rights. No one can take your life. Where are they going to put it? In their back pocket or somewhere? Oh, I took his life. Yeah, I got it up on the can. Uh, 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 up on the. Get out of here. No one can take your rights. You got rights, but with them rights come responsibilities, and you must be responsible for these things in life. The, the situation that we're in now, the reason we say have a, we have no rights is because we are not being responsible. We are allowing others to be responsible for us. And we're calling ourselves a minority. We're calling ourselves slaves because that's the same thing. A slave is not responsible. A slave has abdicated their rights along with their responsibilities. You want rights? You got them. You want rights? You got them. No one can take them. However, responsibilities come with that. I say always speak the truth. That's the most responsible thing anyone can do. You don't have the right to speak the truth? Yes, you do. We have the right to speak the truth. People say you don't have no rights. I got one right here. This is my right. See, you come with a right. One love.